Hey guys, what's up? Try Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette, and yes, you heard me correctly. Um, this is Try Sectatron talking. Uh, this is my Town Hall 11 account. Um, something that you guys, if you were paying attention very closely, you may have noticed in my last video. Um, one of my attacks on this account was featured uh, in the background. So yeah, I have a Town Hall 11. This live attack is Town Hall 11. Um, so this should be interesting. Have not done a Town Hall 11 live attack before. This is a pretty solid base, but I think I have a good plan for it. We'll talk through it, and then we'll go ahead and try the attack. Um, so anyway, the plan is to do a Sui Battle Blimp, Sui Hero, uh, Laloon attack. Uh, basically the idea is I want to drop my blimp like that with a... I think just a haste. I think they do enough damage to not need a rage there. Um, that should lure out any air targeting CC troops like a baby dragon. I might sprinkle in a few balloons behind to help with that wizard tower. Um, I'll go for a later deployment so they target these three buildings uh, as the priority there. And then I think the best use for my heroes, I was really debating this, but I think to make it the least awkward entry, I'm going to anchor like a minion here to bring whatever CC troops come out. I'm going to drop down uh, King, Giant Wizard to take this building out, Queen, and have them just walk this direction. That way if there's like a Hound in the CC, it won't get lured out um, by the heroes. They'll only encounter whatever the uh, actual air targeting CC troops are. Nothing lured unnecessarily. And um, this would otherwise be a difficult part to, uh, to have this air defense still up and have these buildings up. So I'm going to try to basically get all of this uh, taken out with my heroes. That way the Lalo can just be like a spam straight into here. Um, I have lots of spells. I think what we'll do is probably have like a few pre-hastes, like maybe one just on this archer tower, one here. Uh, the rage will end up going like uh, somewhere around here, covering the expos maybe another rage like right here and basically it's going to try to go through and take out that as quickly as possible and then the back end doesn't scare me as much I mean, maybe there's a test the farm who knows but I'm hoping to have enough balloons left over that I can just maybe do a haste and four loons I'll save for that but besides that you know there's not a whole lot that scares me there's a wizard tower there is the inferno but um, they might split weird but I think if I can get through that main part of the base quickly enough I'll have enough to take out the base so um, Let's go ahead and hop into the uh, Clash of Clans. This is the account Trisectatron. First live attack ever on this account. Um, many of you guys probably didn't even know I had it. I have two rages, five hastes, two skellies for the queen, a freeze, which I'll use as needed. Um, gotta make sure my warden is set to air. Um, there we go, he's on air now. And um, yeah, everything looks pretty good. I think uh, I think we're pretty good. Um, let's go ahead and scout the base one more time, make sure that everything is completely figured out. Um, and then we'll go ahead and try the attack. This is base number seven, Maverick. Um, CC should be lured here by the battle blimp, so shouldn't have to worry about that. Um, yeah, looking at my spells again, I have five hastes. So I'll probably use one here on the blimp, want to save one for here, which leaves me three. So probably won't haste there, but I'll definitely haste here. If there's anything left here, I might haste on top of that. I'll try to save them though, because I might want them for like the back end. The main thing will be using two rages to get through this area as quickly as possible. The core of the base um, probably will freeze maybe the queen on top of the expos or something. Uh, I got three hounds, like 27 loons, maybe 25 if I sprinkle a few in initially. Um, so I'm feeling good. Uh, not the most experienced Town Hall 11 attacker, but we'll go ahead and give it a try here. Alright, we'll turn up the music just a little bit. And here we go. Alright. We will start with our battle blimp. And then I'll put in two loons behind on that wizard tower. So we'll put the blimp right... Actually, I'm going to put the haste down first. Haste. 
Blimp. Loon Loon. Deploy it. Alright, it's a big dragon. That's cool. See what kind of value we can get there. Alright. Bring it over here. We'll just go ahead and poison it. Um, poison, king, queen, giant, wizard, wizard. Hopefully that funnels things the right way. Go ahead and pop the king there. Right, he'll just sit on that wall, that's alright, I guess. And get a minion or two down there. King went through, which is actually fine, I think. Um, he might even help clear out. Yeah, it's a, that's good, the king's tanking. Um, go ahead and let the queen go a little more, then we'll use her ability. Pop the queen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hound, 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 Warden. Rage him up. Freeze. Skelly, Skelly. Minions. Warden's ability. Got some of the balloons with it. One, two, three, four. Haste. Haste that group. Alright, guys, we'll see how this goes. I basically put everything down already, so uh, looking pretty good. Have a lot of balloons left up, just a few defenses. Um, got pretty good value from the, uh, the Warden's ability over that Tesla farm, I think. Um, this one's looking really nice, as long as those balloons, I think I have enough of them. Uh, minions are down. We got 47 seconds remaining. I'm going to go ahead and put my nothing in the corners put my last minion right there um, that warden's actually tanking the archer tower and targeting the archer tower very intelligent grand warden right there getting good value from him uh, this one looks like a triple so glad to bring you guys my first town hall 11 live attack and it is a triple um, went very nicely and I think the key was just overwhelming that uh, part of the base with the queen the eagle the expos because uh, that was the difficult part of the base, the Inferno back end, that single Inferno, uh, was not a big deal. So we will uh, go ahead and take a look at the replay here and talk through it once more to see what I may have missed as I was attacking as we wrap up the video here. So we'll fast forward to the start. Um, this went pretty well, I believe. I think I got most of the defenses I wanted. Uh, Wizard Tower goes down. Yeah. Unfortunately, there wasn't really much for the balloons to go to after they take out those that initial compartment there, so they just kind of die, but uh, got pretty good value. I mean, I think there was like two wizard towers there, which is very nice, plus the multi-inferno. Um, so that was definitely very good value. King, queen, um, this actually went extremely well also. Wasn't quite sure where the king would go, but the wizards did a good job clearing off like a funnel because it was important that he didn't go this way and like lure out the CC. I guess it's just one extra balloon, which doesn't matter, but I wanted him to still tank for the Queen, which he did tank that expo for a long time, um, as well as the Grand Warden. So I got great value here. I went ahead and used the Queen's ability just a little bit early. Um, the idea being that she was probably gonna get targeted by that cannon anyway, so I wanted to take my eye off her and just start focusing, which I think was fine, because she gets this wizard tower in the end, which is pretty much as far as I needed her to get. That's all the value that's really there anyway. Um, and then just three hounds straight at this base, soaking everything up. Balloons, just one big clump of balloons, but really there's both sides have been cleared. Um, and then just keeping these balloons raged up. Freeze was perfect, got um, air defense expo and queen. Queen never had a chance. She was down in an instant by the skelly spells. I like bringing two usually. Then the Grand Warden didn't keep up quite as much as I would have wanted him to, but he still got some of the balloons in his ability. Then uh, on the back end, that Lava Hound goes over and tanks very nicely. I mean, it just, the timing worked out perfectly. Uh, balloons come in to kind of assassinate that air defense and then converge on the Wizard Tower. 
Um, and at this point, like I said, it's just having these balloons try to split and take out these last few defenses, but only talking a few archer towers. So uh, that's it. Hope you guys liked the video. Thanks for watching. And uh, hopefully you can get some more Town Hall 11 content churned out for you guys. And there's some Town Hall 12 as well. I don't have a Town Hall 12, but you guys will, can at least see two types of live attacks now. Um, but I'm up on this Town Hall 11 again and really starting to get active on it. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. Let me fast forward to the end here. Trisectatron out.